the dairy farmers were informed that 20% of the milk they produce would not be received by the processor. This amounted, this 20%, Madam Speaker, would be for January and February. This is a total of 202,000 pounds of milk, valued at close to $175,000, losses to farmers. This decision, Madam Speaker, is being made, you know why, Madam Speaker? To a saturated milk market and overstock of locally produced cheese. Containers of cheddar and mozzarella cheese cannot be sold on our markets. What a sad reality. This government, Madam Speaker, since elected, has not issued in poor province for cheese, for mozzarella, neither cheddar cheese. And we will not issue any permits until our farmers are able to market their cheese entirely. The sad truth, Madam Speaker, and member for Albert Division, the market is saturated with imported milk, Lala being one of the biggest importers. Madam Speaker, a company who claims they have exclusivity to import Lala milk has saturated the market. We in government today will never allow this to happen again. And the even saddest truth, Madam Speaker, is that at times imported milk paid no GST. But the GST department, yes, went to the dairy producers and was attempting to charge them GST for flavored milk, which is a little which is fresh milk with chocolate coloring and strawberry coloring. GST department attempted to want to charge the farmers GST, but yet imported milk was not paying GST. Isn't that a shame, Madam Speaker? Further, today, which we will correct shortly, farmers are paying GST on bottling equipment for their, on bottling materials for milk. So they are paying GST, and at times imported milk was paying no GST. That is a shame and disgrace. And that, Madam Speaker, will be corrected by this government very shortly.